are just starting out in painting, you might be wondering about the real purpose of underpainting. And if you're already an experienced artist, you might have moved away from underpainting as part of your personal creative process. But regardless of where you fall on that spectrum, whether you work with acrylics or oils, understanding underpainting is crucial. In this video, I'm not going to show my entire painting process. Instead, I'll be diving into how underpainting works for me in establishing a strong foundation in my Boda painting. I truly believe this step is crucial, especially for an artwork that is characterized by dark tones. Alright, let's talk about underpainting. So, what is underpainting? It is basically the first layer of paint applied to the canvas before diving into the main composition. Usually done in grayscale or sepia, it sets up the basic shapes, values, and overall composition of the artwork. The origins of underpainting can be traced back to the technique used by Renaissance artists. These artists often employ a monochromatic underpainting known as grisaille to establish the tonal values and forms of their compositions before applying colored glazes on top. Today, artists continue to explore and adapt underpainting techniques to suit their individual styles and artistic visions. Some artists use underpainting as a way to block in shapes and values before applying more detailed layers of paint, while others use it to create subtle color harmonies or to establish a sense of atmosphere in their work. There are five key reasons why underpainting is so important. First, establishing composition, shapes, and values. This means that underpainting helps artists figure out where everything goes on the canvas. It's like drawing the skeleton of the painting, setting up the basic shapes, and deciding where the light and shadows fall. When painting Buddha, I began by using burnt sienna to outline the shape and composition. Then, I employed various brown color values to define the facial features. Second, providing a roadmap for subsequent layers of color and detail. Once the underpainting is done, it serves as a guide for what comes next. Artists would know where to add colors and details because they have already laid down the groundwork. I really love the underpainting process because it allows me to visualize and anticipate the final painting's appearance with a monochromatic style. Third, enhancing the vibrancy and harmony of colors. Underpainting helps in making the colors in the final painting pop. By creating a strong foundation of values and tones, artists can achieve more vibrant colors and ensure they work well together. I've chosen burnt sienna for my initial layer. While I could have gone with other colors like red or blue, I went with burnt sienna because it will blend seamlessly with the colors I'll be adding on top. Fourth, improving paint adhesion and durability. This means that underpainting helps the subsequent paint to stick better to the canvas, making the artwork more durable in the long run. By applying a uniform underpainting layer, artists can ensure consistent adhesion and durability across the entire surface of the painting, reducing the risk of weak spots or areas prone to damage. Okay, the last one will be allowing for corrections and adjustments. This is incredibly helpful for those who draw freehand. If you are not using grid lines or other tools to develop your painting's composition, you might find yourself needing to adjust your lines or shapes a bit here and there. And that's perfectly normal. Underpainting gives you the chance to fix any mistakes or make changes to the composition before adding the final touches. 
since it's done in simple colors, artists can experiment and make adjustments more easily. At the end of the video, I would like to emphasize that underpainting serves as a crucial preliminary step for most artists. It provides a solid groundwork upon which artists can construct their compositions. By setting the mood and reaching depth and harmonizing colors, underpainting not only establishes the essence of the artwork, but also serves as a guide for subsequent layers of paint. With diverse techniques at hand, underpainting remains a flexible tool adaptable to various artistic styles and intentions. The meticulous execution of the underpainting helps artists pave the way for the intricate layers to come, ultimately shaping the final masterpiece. <laughs>